The Challenge of the Yukon. And King on you The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserve law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog gang met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. It was in this way that suave, smooth-voiced Jules Dupre had created a killer. Let other and weaker men carry firearms. Jules Dupre scorned a gun. He placed his trust in the powerful jaws and slashing fangs of Lobo, the husky he had trained for murder. It was late in the afternoon when Sergeant Preston swung off the trail to Moosehead and stopped at Bob Regan's Hard Rock Gold Claim. Oh, boy, Melanie! What the... Yeah, Mountie, what do you want? Isn't this Bob Regan's cabin? Yeah, it used to be. Belongs to me and my partner now. You men bought his claim? You didn't have to buy it. Regan left and we moved in. As simple as that. Ever hear the territorial mining law? Yes, I have. The 19th article of that law reads this way. A claim shall be deemed abandoned and open to entry and occupation by any person when the same shall remain unworked for a period of 72 hours. Who are you? I'm Bart Kress. If you don't believe us, check the record at the land office. Maybe I will. Come on, King. <laughs> Why would Bob Regan desert a claim as playing out like this one is? Doesn't make sense, does it, King? <laughs> on King! On the Meanwhile, on the main street of Moosehead, in front of the El Dorado Saloon, a very pretty but distraught young girl pleaded with a boy named Regan. Please don't do it, Bob. You mustn't do it. Why not? Because I'm afraid. And because it's a crime to deliberately try to kill someone. What do you think Jules Dupre's claim jumpers were trying to do to me last week? I don't know, but... Oh, Bob, that's something for the law to handle. I've got all the law I need. Right here in my pocket. A Colt 45. Lobo. There's nothing to be... Ah, oh, I see. It's poor Mr. Regan, the gold miner who ran away. I've been looking for you, Dupre. So... <laughs> Have a drink, Regan. Treats on me. Oh, bye, keep some brandy for Regan. Save it. All I want from you is the pleasure of putting a 45 slug into your crooked, thieving carcass. I don't like that kind of talk. How long do you think you can go stealing gold claims without... I don't have to reach for that gun. Guns are dangerous. Sure, and I'm gonna... Take him, Lobo! <laughs> Oh, come on, Jules. Why, did the Chaco tried to kill me? Oh! Oh! Get off these guns! Cut off the mark! I bet! Stay oh. back, all of you! I don't hold in on private rights, but this is murder. Oh. Somebody hand me a chair. I'll stop that wolf. What? Why, you! <laughs> One of them's dead, Jules. Regan killed out Cole. What do we do with him? Outside. Throw him outside. Lobo can finish the job out there. Don't worry, boy. You can handle Mr. Regan all alone. I said throw him out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a hand, Monk. Yeah, sure. All right. Oh, oh. You better 
Yes, stay away from that, Chichaco. Lobo's got some unfinished business. He's dead. You've killed him. Oh, not yet, lady. Take him, Lobo. Oh, 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 What's going on here? Marty, what did he come from? Who owns that dog? Pull him off or I'll shoot. You're making a mistake with that gun, Sergeant. After him, King? No, no, wait, wait. No, no. Hold it, King. Hold it, King. That's enough. That husky over there, does he belong to you? Lobo's a pet, Sergeant, a loyal friend. Mm, I'll check your story later, after I find some place to take Bob Regan. My cabin is just beyond the next street. We can take him there. Good. I'll carry Bob. You show me where it is. Try some more hot soup, Bob. Don't move that bandage on the side of your head. Thanks, Ruth. Well, Regan, you feeling better? Sure. A little rocky, but I'll be all right. Good. Can you tell me what started all this? I stopped at your claim this afternoon and found some bodies there. A week ago yesterday, I was just coming out of the main shaft of my mine... Well, I, I was slugged from behind. When I woke up, I was on the other side of Bear Ridge. Four days from here. I see. And when you returned, Bart Kress had claimed your mine because it had been deserted for 72 hours. Right. The worst part of it is, I can't prove anything. Jules Dupre is in the clear. Maybe. All you can prove he's done is sick that husky of his onto me. He's got witnesses to prove that that was in self-defense. Mm. Come on, King. Hello, Dupre. Well, good evening, Sergeant. Can I buy you a drink? No, thanks. Quiet, Lobo, quiet. Your dog? Raised him from a puppy. North Coast Husky. From the way he went for Bob Regan's throat this afternoon, I'd say there was more wolf there than husky. Nature gave Lobo sh- teeth. There's only means of self-defense. Yours, too, from what I hear. You don't carry a gun, do you? Peaceful man has no use for firearms, Sergeant. Or for alibi. What do you mean? Nothing. By the way, I saw a friend of yours today. Friend? Bart Cress. He seems to be doing pretty well on Bob Regan's old gold claim. Yeah, so I've heard. He was in very good humor. Probably struck a rich vein of ore. Perhaps. It's a good thing both partners are right there on the spot. They don't have to trust anyone. Mine gold is a hard thing to trace. I... So I've heard. Well, I'm going over to my cabin, get some sleep. See you tomorrow, Jules. Anytime, Sergeant. No, Lobo, not now. Monk, come in. Yeah, Jules? Hitch up your dog team. We're heading to the mine that Bart's holding down. This time of night? What's the idea? I don't know. That red coat may be telling the truth, and he may not. I'm gonna find out. But Jules... Said hitch up the team now. Oh, sure, Jules. Right away. Ruth, you can help us. I'll do whatever you say, Sergeant. What do we do? You and I will wait right here for a while. But you said... Ruth, you take my dog team and sled. You can handle them easily with King's help. Where do you want me to go? Deliver a message to all of the men who've taken over the mines Bob mentioned this afternoon. Shouldn't take you long. They don't live very far from here. What's the message? Tell them Dupre wants to see every one of them tonight at Bob Regan's mine. Oh, oh, you must. This is the claim, Jules. Cabin's right over there. I guess Bob will well, soon find out. Come on, Lobo. Jules and Monk. Well, what are Come you... in, Monk. Close the door. Oh, I didn't expect That's you That's exactly to... the reason I'm here. Well, what do you mean? Didn't you tell me there wasn't much color in this claim? Well, there ain't. Might develop later on. Nothing but... big you've been keeping to yourself, huh? Where'd you get that idea? From a mount named Sergeant Preston. Oh, he was here this afternoon. I know all about it. Now we'll go over to the mine. I want to see for myself. But Jules, you don't think that I'll I tell would... you later what I think. Let's go to the mine. Come on, Lobo. Oh. Oh. 
There were four or five men headed for the mine. Ruth must have delivered the message, all right. Yeah. They're part of Dupre's crew. Look where he is. Inside the mine with Bart Crass, if my guess is right. I still don't see how you're going to... Look, here's Ruth. Okay! Good. Hello there, King. How are you, fellas? Oh, Sergeant Preston, I gave all the men that message. I don't know whether or not they believe oh, me. Oh, it but... worked. Bob and I just saw them go into the mine. What do we do now, Sergeant? You and Ruth wait here. If your mine is laid out the way you described it, King and I can handle the job. You mean uh, that cross drift that leads off the main shaft? Yeah. Are you sure it's outside the claim? That's what the land office said when I originally filed on it. Good. Come on, King. Wait. Uh, can I help you some way? Come up when you get my signal. Ready, King? <laughs> Let's go, boy. See, Jules? This digging hasn't been touched in weeks. Maybe. I wouldn't double cross you, Jules. You must be local. Hey, boss. Think. Somebody's coming. Oh. Mike Lobo. Who are we? Oh, it's Joe. Frenchy, Mel Slade. Hey, what's this? What are all you doing here? We're doing here? We got your message. What message? Didn't you send some girl to tell us to come here? No, you did. Who'd you leave on the claims you're supposed to be watching? Well, none of us can be two places at once, Jules. Claims are all right. They won't run away. Sure. Ah, you fool. That didn't send any message. Well, then... Well, I mean the girl Some said kind it. of a trick. For once in your life, Dupre, you're right. The mountain. Let's keep on walking, all of you. There's a cross drift to your left that's much larger. We'll have plenty of room to talk. Move! No, no, no. Not yet. Yeah, the sergeant's right, boys. We need more room. This is far enough. Now, listen... There's nothing in the law that says a Mountie can herd miners around like, like a pack of dogs. And you know the law, don't you, Bart? Enough to call a high-handed bluff like this. Now, wait a minute, Bart. Maybe our red-coated friend here has a reason for his actions. Getting this many claim jumpers in one spot is reason enough. Claim jumpers? Now, that's a lie. How about it, Jules? <laughs> Why ask me? Because these men work for you. You're behind the whole thing. We've done nothing wrong. Every claim has been filed on legal and proper. I know. It can't be proved. So I decided to arrange for the rightful owners to repossess what's really theirs. What do you mean? You'll all stay here for 72 hours so you'll lose title to what didn't belong to you in the first place. Why, you can't do that. Bob Brigham and I'll guard the entrance. We'll supply you with food and water. You framed a slick stunt, Marty. But you outsmarted yourself. Is that so? Yeah. You can't keep Pete and me off this claim. The one that used to belong to Regan. Where we're standing right now and where you'll stay for the next three days isn't part of the mine. That's why we walked into this cross shaft. Well, of all that be double crossing. Pull the gun, Bart. He'll come in and that'll give Lobo a clear feed. Oh, no. That mountain can shoot and he's watching us, all of us. I said pull your gun so we'll pull his. No, choose. And give me your gun. Oh, oh, watch out, Lobo's watching you. I'll show you. No, not me, Lobo. No. The husky king, Peggy. No. Enough, King. No more, boy. Lobo tried to kill me. Don't blame the dog, Dupre. He was only following orders. If King hadn't been here, he would have killed you. Bob. Bob Regan. What, what, what happened? A dog fight? Two would-be killers. It's all over now. You and I have a job ahead of us the next three days. King, your job's done. <laughs> yes, boy. Thanks to you, the case is closed. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Al Neal.